Welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Artie. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading based upon the karma it is for the person that you have on your mind. So very shortly I'll flash up the piles it is that you can choose from. Then down in the description below will be all of the timestamps it is that you can choose from that should take you directly to your reading. Anything else that you might need to know will also be down in the description below. Hello pile number one and welcome to your reading. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, the karma it is that the person on your mind will be facing. So first of all we're going to take a look at a couple of different placements just so that we can identify with the reading and make sure that the reading is for you. So guides, guardians, universe, energies and service of the highest and greatest good of those who have come to view pile number one. I welcome you into the space and I ask that you please guide us with truth, clarity, wisdom, and love. Anything else that might be in service of the highest and greatest good. Please grant me the ability to articulate your messages as clearly and as appropriately as possible. Thank you. So I'm seeing a lot of purple energy. So I think you guys actually identified with this person um, as someone who you are currently sharing a lot of tension with or stress with. Um, I think you guys might have even identified this person to be as like a soulmate or someone who was very very meaningful to you they could have been around for quite a long time or you could identify that with this person um, to be like a family member from what I'm picking up here intuitively uh, who is the person that is on the pile of uh, who is the person that is on pile number one's mind please guys guardians universe and energies and service of the highest and greatest good um, so we have uncertainty, choose who will you who you will become. We have you can't go back to yesterday, be in the present moment. We have the mermaid of immersion and also lead the way. Okay, so I think this is someone who you might still be hanging on to from a long time ago or someone that you've already disconnected from. Um, and back, you know, there's like a distance or a separation between you two. I think it this time you guys don't have much hope for the situation um because of you guys being in separation but i do think um this person still looks up to you they keep an eye on you whether you know this or not they actually feel quite silly for whatever it is that happened between you two in this dynamic because i got drawn into the uh, dodo bird that's in the back of this card I also feel like um, you felt like you had to try extra hard to get along with this person and that might be like a red flag that that shows you you had to step outside of your character to try to resolve issues, to try and keep peace, to try and keep this person happy. Um, and I think that you probably struggled to communicate clearly with this person. I think, um, <clears throat> yeah. You felt like you had to keep certain things about yourself secret or hidden and, and that was to appease this person and help them to feel more comfortable being themselves around you. I think this person used to clown you, pile number one. So what I mean by that is like they would gather information on you and then use it against you or make fun of you for the truth or your authenticity. And I think... Um, yeah, I, I've been drawn to the clownfish and I just heard clown. Um, so, yeah, I think this person knew what they were doing. And I think this person knew what they did was really manipulative. Uh, really gaslighty is the energy that I'm picking up here. Um, and this person tried to hide you from other people that they had in their life. Um, I don't know why. For some of you guys, it's because they told other people certain lies about you and they knew that if they had you uh, out in the public or whoever it is that they were trying to hide you from, the, the truth that they had lied about would be uncovered. Um, does that make sense? So, yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> if that resonates with you, well then, 
this reading is going to be for you guys. What is it that pile, the person on pile number one's mind did to them? So they affected your sense of belonging um, in your world by probably making you try to doubt yourself. Uh, they probably put you down a lot and probably highlighted a lot more of your... I don't want to say negative traits, but it was things that you knew you weren't proud of, you know. And this person would like pick at them. And overly criticize them even though you like did heaps of amazing things uh, or you achieved great things with this person or for this person and they kind of like took it for granted um, I think this person also gave you a false sense of security or a false sense of hope um, a false sense of connection the person that you thought they were turned out to be someone that they were not so the role that they apparently played in your life ended up being something completely different to what you had been convinced yeah uh, from what I'm getting here I think this person I think this person also wanted to dim your light. So who it is that you identify with yourself to be, I think this person tried to control you or manipulate you outside of your character to try and disprove who it is that you say that you are, to try and disprove you from uh, where it is or what it is that you are working on. Um, this person, they were actually kind of jealous of you from what I just heard. Yeah. Because they're jealous of you because people around you understand that when you are 100, when you are feeling your best, you supply your best quality to the people around you and other people who love you and that you love benefit from you in this way. Well, this person wants to be someone who is at the center of attention. They want to be at the center of perfection as well. They want to be seen as the head of their family, the head of their friends, the person that knows everything, the person that has all the answers. They want to be the person who has the advantage above anyone else. Um, so what they do is they try to break down other people's sense of security they try to break down other people's sense of belonging sense of structure organization their personal authority by nitpicking at their their faults or their weaknesses or their past time mistakes um who it is that they used to be who it is that they've grown from you know what i'm saying here um <clears throat> So what was the purpose of why this person did what they did in my pile number one's life? We have the people card here and we also have the vehicles. Right, so the sole purpose behind this person being aligned in your life was to help you to understand how it is that you can improve the dialogue that you share with yourself. It was to help you to improve the relationship or the self-image that you hold of yourself as well. This connection came into your life because somewhere in your auric field uh, or within your psyche, you are still undervaluing the, the true power of your personal choice, your personal authority. And I, I think a, a very powerful place or a very uh, powerful self-reflection prompt would be you asking yourself where it is that you feel within yourself is discouraged feeling like you can't achieve something or feeling like you can't um head into a certain direction in your life um and i don't know why but this person came in your life to help you to uh, develop new ideas and develop new plans ex expand uh the horizon of of how you think um, because what we see here is we have the possessions card <clears throat> and then we also have the birth and babies card so this is all about new ideas this is about um, you identifying with what needs to be nurtured in order to be developed um, so this person literally came into your life to highlight areas or aspects of yourself that still need nurture that still need attention acknowledgement development advancement improvement you know what i'm saying now this could have been improvements that you identify with um, within yourself or like something to do with 
identifying with how it is that you can improve the types of people that you choose to be in your life. Does that make sense? Uh, so, yeah, that this person came in as a karmic lesson for you guys uh, to help you to further advance yourself, to gain enlightenment with the focus card being here, 25, uh, reduces down to 7. Funny enough, we were just talking about that. And seven is all about mysticism, higher knowledge, philosophy, ascension, um, identifying or acknowledging karmic cycles and learning the spectrum of cause and effect. Um, now, for enlightenment, what a lot of people don't understand is enlightenment isn't something that you you reach. Uh, it's not something you find. It's not something you, you become. It is something you realize right now through being totally present being in a space of radical acceptance of what is once if you haven't already once you come to a space of full acceptance of what this connection was who this person turned out to be what you originally thought you will come into a space of acceptance of what has happened and then you will see the higher perspective which will be the wisdom the healing or the gift that you identify with and the gift will be something like a life lesson um, or how it is that you can value yourself more with the car and vehicle totem being here how you can um, learn to take control or empowerment over yourself over your life over your self image and your lifestyle or quality of life how it is that um, you can also protect yourself was what I just heard because there are certain types of connections you have uh, attracted in within the past that keeps re-repeating through other people. So the struggle is the same though it keeps coming through different expressions. Um, hmm, we have magician in the mirror and we also have financial constraints. So this is people who come into your life to just take from you. You know what I'm saying? Um, they just take really, your stability, your intellectual property, um, and they also try, you might feel like these people around you try to mock your personality around you as well to get close to you, um, but I see as though the way, the way it is that you can recorrect this karmic cycle so you never have to experience this type of person again is by redefining what types of connections you wish to attract into your space, what you will be willing to give and what you are willing and open to receiving. Becoming clear with these two aspects will help you to identify with what types of characters are not suitable uh, or supporting your your highest good who it is that you can become um the best that is in you you know what i'm saying hopefully um now this is just very vague because these are very general messages but i hope you guys are following so now we're going to take a look into the karma that this person is going to suffer with um or have as an effect or consequence what is the karma of the person that's on pile number one's mind please we have hostility. So the way that this person is going to be thinking um, is in a way of hostility. This person is going to be valuing the wrong things, which will lead them to a lot of conflict. Um, I feel like they're going to have a lot of disagreements with the people around them, and they're not going to really know who it is that they can trust with the number 26 being on top of the hostility card here. Um, I do see that there will be a lot of... Uh, good relationships that they want shared with people leave their life. A lot of people are going to start to realize um, their lies, I just heard. I just heard people want them to stop this, whatever it is that they're doing, because they're on a very self-destructive path right now. Um, but they're not really listening. Um, and they don't really know why they should listen because they're very dissatisfied, which is unfortunate because the karma is that they're going to be very, very jealous of people around them. They're going to be seeing other people reaching their goals. This could even include yourself. They're going to be seeing other people outside of them reaching their goals. Meanwhile, they're going to be feeling stuck, stuck, dissatisfied. Um, 
they're going to be feeling very impatient, feeling like they don't have the ability or capability to achieve what it is that they want. Uh, they won't have the, the attention it is that they need to be seen or recognized. Um, and they feel like they're not going to be victorious over what it is that they set out to do. They're going to suffer with a lot of heartbreak as well because the types of people that they're going to be attracting into their space aren't going to be truthful in their expression, expressions or exchanges. They're going to find themselves surrounded by a lot of unemotionally available people, uh, which is going to be very unfortunate because once again, it's going to lead them further away from the truth of themselves because this person is going to become distracted with negativity. That is because this person has already dedicated themselves to making poor choices that they know goes against their better judgment. And that's why they're getting the karma that they're getting because they knew what they were doing to you was wrong, though they decided to carry on doing it. And that's where the saying, when you know better, do better, comes in like gold because it's, it's one of the truest, most simplest wisdoms that could have been left behind for us when we know better we do better which means we avert having to go through consequence of suffering because of our own personal choices this person knew that before they did what they did they're going to be very very sorry that they did what they did to you because they're going to get it same but tenfold um they're going to understand the damage that they did um and that's all I can really say here. Is there any additional messages that you would like me to pass on to those who have come to view? Pile number one, please, universe. We have you can't go back to yesterday. Be in your present moment. So even though um, this has happened, please understand that this person does not have the ability to affect you anymore. This person's influences over the past has no power over you. The more you pay mind to what they've done, the more you pay mind to the influence or the power that you gain this person the more of an effect this person will have over you, your timeline so what you want to do is understand that it was a lesson it was a lesson to help you recognize what you deserve and what you don't deserve uh, what types of people were worthy of you and what types of people are not and unfortunately part number one this person was just not worthy or to be around you to 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 have you you know um okay any further additional messages? What do they have to look forward to as a result of the karma for pile number one? Curiosity meets opportunity. You're going to start to attract in more people who want to celebrate the abundance that you are naturally. So all the good things that are about you, a lot of people are going to start pointing those things out. And they're going to start to take more interest in you as well because your time has been freed up from focus on this person. Once you uh, turn away from whoever it is that has hurt you, that is on your mind, pile number one, you're going to start to see a lot more people appreciating your presence, appreciating you being where you are at the times that you are. You're going to get a lot of uh, random compliments over the next two to three weeks. And I also see a lot of people are going to want to be talking to you. A lot of, um, uh, what would be the word? Personal exchanges, would that be the word? A lot of communication, a lot of uh, deepening of connection with other people outside of you. Teamwork, cooperation. Um, and yeah, you're learning to create what it is that you really do wish to experience by ridding yourself of what is no longer worthy of being in your presence. If you see the um, crown here, this is saying, state your sovereignty, understand your worth, and hold yourself to that standard. The best way you can stay in balance, I feel here, is, is advice from me, is um, just treat others how you wish to be treated, pile number one. You'll start to attract them better company in this way. When you recognize who people are, when they reveal themselves to you, accept them for who it is that they are, and understand that they cannot pursue potential that they do not wish to. And that will help you to protect your energy, energy or preserve your energy and um, happiness moving forward. Those are the messages that I have for you today. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Uh, and with all that being said, until next time, bye. Pile number two, hello and welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for being here today. So we're going to go ahead and take a look into what it is 
uh, or who it is that is on your mind, just so you can identify with if this reading is for you or not. Part number two, please, guys, guardians, universe, energies, and service of the highest and greatest good of those who have come to view this reading. Welcome you into the space, and I ask that you please guide me with truth, clarity, wisdom, and love, anything and everything else in service of the highest and greatest good. Please allow me and grant me the ability to articulate your messages uh, most appropriately and most accurately accurately thank you who is the person that is on the pile whose mind so this is someone that you've seen take uh take on a new stance in their life you're this is a person that you've seen grow a lot i think you helped them out of a really tough time sorry two seconds and you probably came in at the perfect time to align with this person. Yep, flying and falling, number four. So this is telling me you came into this person's life at a time where things were really hard for them. You probably helped this person out with a lot of, um, it's just here for some, distraction, struggle, loss, despair, grief. Uh, and I just heard, then they told you to get lost, or at least that's what it felt like. Um, you've been getting intuitive information about this person recently and why this connection uh, fell through or why this connection uh, has been going through the transformation that it has. Now, for others of you, I think you're, you guys are thinking about... Say, for example, the scenario I just got was you're friends with someone that you're actually in love with and you're thinking about taking the step to admit to this person how you really feel. I think intuitively you know that this needs to be done because it's going to help to provide the nurture or provide what is ne necessary for this connection to grow and, f you know, come into fruition or, like, flourish. Um, I, I think also uh, pile number two... For others of you, uh, take what resonates, of course, but I think when you first connected to this person, you knew this person wasn't going to be around in your life for a long time. I think this person intimidated you, and I think that's because you sensed underneath the surface this person's intentions were not pure like they had stated or would like to sell themselves uh, or made it out to be, if that makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and take a deeper look. I want to see... Who is the person who is on the pile? Two's mind, please. Who is the person? Please give me insight. Um, so we have Becoming Braver and the Fairy Ring. Yeah, this is someone that you might have even have mentored, taught, or helped to per, like help someone to perfect their skill and their craft um this is a person who you saw as someone who was kind of like either feeling less empowered than what you were at the time you came across this person or was struggling with something you knew you were already good at so if any of that makes sense to you this reading is going to be for you guys and as i looked down i saw 333 on the clock uh, so that might have a numerology message for you guys as well uh, so, taking a look at what it is that this person did to you guys. So, they wanted to um, temper, tamper with your personal empowerment. This person uh, wanted to create a lot of sudden changes for you to make you feel like you didn't have what it was necessary within you to create the best possible outcome. I think this person became very jealous of you and how it was that you understood your instincts or how it was that you understood the craft it is that you were helping this person to master or overcome and challenge. I think also this person, for those of you who do the sorts of work of what I'm doing here today, this person was jealous of your connection to the divine or the connection that that you share with energy the divine knowledge it is that you hold or the the thing that you are most passionate about they they didn't like how you shine in your area of belonging you know what i'm saying or your area of um career and investment i think this person wanted to make you quit doing what you believe in or quit practicing and what it is that you were good at or quit uh, a certain investment um oh and i just oh i just heard a really not nice word uh this person threw out a lot of insults uh when they didn't understand something so for example because you have 
more knowledge in a certain area about a certain subject you would give and offer this to this person and then this person would be like that's just stupid it doesn't make sense you don't know what you're talking about and the only reason why this person was neglecting or rejecting the knowledge or wisdom that was that you were sharing was because they were jealous and they didn't understand it so instead of taking it on board to then further go and learn more about it they just rejected it and to be fair pile number two that's their own disservice to self they're just making their own job harder for themselves if they truly wanted to learn to grow to prosper and to be abundant in the in the field of what you were helping them with or the focus they would be listening they would be asking the questions they would be be um seeking you your advice so this person they just wanted to feel uh more than what they were from where they started and they saw that you are more than where they are and what they are. And so they tried to put you down for that to make you feel like you didn't know what you were talking about. Fathers of you, I feel like you have a knowledge of uh, what it takes to unconditionally love others. And this person gets triggered by the idea of unconditional love for those who have done things that are not so empathic, compassionate, kind, uh, or socially acceptable. Um... And so they wanted to test how dedicated it is that you are to your belief system or to what it is that you promote. So they try to make things difficult. Uh, they try to exhaust you in what it is that you say or how it is that you practice in your craft. Okay. <clears throat> So this is someone who is very insecure. They don't know where it is that they best fit in and they don't know where it is uh, or how it is that they can balance out their confidence. Um, I think they feel very threatened and they probably suffer or no, they probably suffer with insecurity a lot and a lot, a lot, a lot. And that's why they bring people down around them because it makes them feel more empowered, more, more important or more strong. You know what I'm saying here? Okay, if that resonates with you, we're going to take a look at the um, karma that is going to be returning to this person for what they did. Uh, so, what is the karma for the person that is on the mind of pile number two? So please, guys, guardians, universe, energies, and service of the highest and greatest. Sorry, pile number two. Um, I had ran out of storage. So, taking a look at what the karma is going to be for the person that's on your mind we have the naked card here we have the vehicles card and we also have the creativity so the way this person is understanding themselves is going to change dramatically um they're going to feel like they're lacking in direction and they're not going to know they're not going to know what is the best way to take in their life because a lot of their belief systems and their mindsets are outdated for where it is that they're wanting to go so they're going to have to come to like a crossroad where they decide to let go of what they think they know so that they can um truly integrate what it is that they do need to know so that they can keep progressing forward it's an ego issue here you know what i'm saying their creativity is going to be affected when um it comes to like creating resolve in their life creating uh strategy understanding direction creating I don't know options for themselves or be even having the mental capacity to to comprehend possibilities, you know, in their everyday life. They're going to feel blocked off and they're going to be overwhelmed with guilt and shame. Um, and that's going to put them in a space where they feel like they, they can't be vulnerable with people around them because they're holding on to too much baggage, which is clouding their perception or judgment that they're safe to be open and honest with people around them. So they're going to put on quite a harsh exterior, I believe, while inside they're actually very, very emotionally vulnerable and needing support. But um, they... They're their own worst enemy because even though they know what they need, they're not in a space to accept asking for that. You know what I'm saying? Or going to actually get that. Um, I feel like they're going to just keep repeating the same cycles of which they've probably already made very clear and very aware to you. They're just going to extend 
the the karmic cycle of what it is that they're already on you people are already very accustomed to your intuition i would say or to your connection to source and energy so i feel like you guys have probably prophesized or are very well aware of what it is that this person could have had but chose not to have you know what is the karma sorry <clears throat> Um, what is the karma for pile number two, please? Okay, so the karma for you guys from this is learning to choose happiness regardless of conditions. So I think you guys might actually feel mixed emotions uh, through moving away from this person. There'll be like feelings of relief. Uh, there'll be a little bit of regret. There'll be a little bit of grief. But there'll also be happiness and optimism. You know what I'm saying? Relief um, and, and releasing or liberation of stress. I feel like you'll feel as though you'll have the, a better opportunity to stand as a leader in your own life, taking control of your own life, creating what it is that you wish to without um, this person's influence clouding anything or affecting you, you know what I'm saying? You'll no longer feel blocked or restrained from making your own choices as well, living for yourself um, and things like that because this person isn't um, kind of taking your energy or taking your attention. Um, away from where those things really need to be you're going to feel a lot more patient and you're going to feel a lot more confident within your conviction and also in your judgment this person will also be exposed for some of you for those who have been surrounded by someone who has been keeping a lot of secrets or someone who was very narcissistic towards them i want to say that um their calculations are going to be exposed and there's nothing that you actually have to do publicly this person may also um have had a car crash or uh part of their karma could have been that they have needing to fix their car you know what i'm saying they're having a lot of car issues car struggles they're going to have to um depend on other sources and means or ways of getting to where it is that they need to be i see a lot of delays in travel and i also see a lot of complications and um providing finance to create more stability or security or create solutions like Little niggly things are going to keep coming up over this next month for the person that's on your mind pile number two. And it's going to be things like the power goes out or like the car breaks down or like, I don't know, a tire on their car pops, their phone breaks, stuff like that that is going to need urgent attention, at least in their life. Um, I also feel like this person... Oh, my goodness. If this person is applying or looking for new jobs, they're going to get turned down from quite a lot of jobs or, like, rejected. I want to say coming through this naked card with the creativity card here. Um, and why I'm feeling that is because the naked card talks all about... Um, inadequacy or taking a look at your own outdated belief systems being vulnerable with yourself being truthful and authentic you know what i'm saying and creativity is all about attempting trial and error um passion you know being aware of what it is that you want <clears throat> And this person really doesn't know what they want and they're not going to know what they want and that's the issue here. A lot of what they're going to be rejected from is feeling like they have the ability to achieve or reach what it is that they're hoping for. Uh, that's going to be the block for them. Yeah, this person isn't going to have the types of support or guidance it is that they need to get to where they want to go as well, which is going to further delay progress on their pathway moving forward. What is it that Paul needs number two need to know about the person that's on their minds this person is going to be ridiculed by their family the people their community their group of friends uh, their workplace and they're going to want to start to open up to their guides their angels uh god the universe they're going to actually be initiated in this way through public ridicule this person is going to open up to new possibility to, of self-betterment does that make sense this person is not proud of what they've done 
and that they're starting to accept that it's going to take a lot of effort to get them out of where they put themselves that's the worst part about it you know what is going to be affected for this person they're going to feel like they can't speak their authentic truth and they're they're lacking in what they really want what they value they're going to find doesn't actually hold a lot of value at all what they go after that they've up held for most of their life they're going to obtain and then be like why did I even go for this why did I want this in the first place and it's going to be frustrating for them um they're going to feel like they are, are struggling to build like heart to heart connections with people they're going to feel struggle to be understood really and rid themselves of misconceptions misunderstandings uh false self images as well so there's a, something about a self illusion that is going to be shattering for them and it's going to hurt it's going to be a self illusion that they've held about themselves since childhood from what i just said or at least a, a self image that they have defined themselves with that they were using as like a an excuse to to allow them to perpetuate some form of negativity in their life um and it's going to be highlighted within these people and then like illuminated for everyone to see until they see it themselves um so is there any additional messages for those who have come to view pile number two before we end this reading please uh in the near future, you guys are going to receive some form of unexpected money. Uh, you guys are also going to see an increase or an improvement around happiness um, and renewal in your life as well. I see a lot of, um, if you guys have been sick, I see you guys healing from that as well because I heard disease is healing and with the vulture totem being here, that's a totem that, that helps the recycling of energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yes, the more you work on forgiving this person in your past, the more you're going to start to attract an abundance because the more you focus in on holding on to the karma of this person or what this person did to you, the more it's pulling you back towards holding on to that stagnant energy because you're still, um, what would be the word, entertaining it within your attention or within your psyche, which is a attaching you to it you know what i'm saying the more you can self-discipline around understanding that this person is going to learn their lesson and it's got nothing to do with you you learned your lesson and what was their lesson please spirit just so we can be sure yeah to trust in your own intuition i think you knew I think you knew everything about this person. I think you knew what karma they would get. I think you knew what they were doing. I think you prophesized it to this person. You laid it all out on the table and yet they still chose to ignore you. Um, understanding that, that that's their own self-sabotage. That's their own self-punishment that they're going to have to work through, you see. Um, and now it's, it's out of your hands. It's above your pay grade, but number two, it's not your problem. <laughs> Yes, this person might have hurt you. It, m it might have even affected your own inner nature and in the way it is that you process other people outside of you now. But just know that with a little bit of forgiveness and more self-love and opening yourself up to more genuine people out there, the more you're going to allow love to come back into your life to heal you and heal whatever has happened here. So once again, the more you focus on forgiveness, self-discipline around um, release, you, you're going to attract a more abundance, more renewal, more transformation and positive outcome. Uh, I also see in the near future that you guys, once you have released this person that's on your mind, you're going to find new love. Love that is genuine, love that is going to bring in a lot of uh, harmony, a lot of restoration, tranquility, and it's going to be an equal partnership. It's going to be mutual, pile number two. So domestic harmony. Funny. With all that being said, those are the messages that I have for you today, and until next time, Hello pile number three and welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for being here today. So we're just going to align to your energies and then take a look at who it is that's on your mind. And then jump into the karma that they are facing. So I'm seeing a lot of dark navy blue energy. Um, guides, guardians, universe, energies in service of the highest and greatest good of those who have come to view pile number three. I welcome you into the space and I ask that you please guide me with truth, clarity, wisdom, uh, love and anything else in service of the highest and greatest good. Please grant me the ability to articulate your messages as, um, 
as accurately and appropriately as possible. Now, I think this is someone that you've been on a long journey with to uncover a lot of lies and deceit, pile number three. I think this is someone that you either shared a family with, uh, have a family with now, um, or someone that was in, like, your foundations. So this could be someone at home, someone that you looked up to, uh, a partner that you're in separation with, your child's parent, um, or this could be someone like your landlord, your manager, or someone who had like partnerships with you that highlighted your security, your stability, or your money, you know, your home. Um, yeah, with the door to value being here on top of the deck. Strange. <laughs> Who is the person that is on the pile? Number three's mind, please. So this is someone who is very stagnant, very stuck, and I just heard their trouble. Um, <laughs> this is someone who tried to block your better judgment or tried to talk you out of doing what you knew was best for you at the time. This is someone who affected your life in a bad way like when this person started revealing themselves to you your, your life started reverting or going backwards things started going wrong you started losing things you felt stuck you felt constrained it's constrained restrained you felt bound really and i think i just heard bogged down held down by material so i think this person i'm getting really like oh devil energy from terror i think this person had addictions uh, or had p attachments to you. I think this is someone that you could really have truly loved. This is someone that means a lot to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. It's someone that you became used to. This is someone that you could have even identified to be as someone like um, a cuddle buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, a booty call. Uh, or someone that you were in a relationship with for a very, very long time. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at what it was that they did. Please, guides, guardians, universe, what was it that they did to my pile number threes? Uh, so this person devalued you. They took you for granted. They didn't appreciate you as much as they know that they should have. Um, they also liked to idealize things so for some of you I think this person purposely put you in the feelings of competition and they would compare you to others to make you feel bad about yourself this was to knock or lower your your self-confidence um they used to talk you out of taking appropriate action they used to make you doubt your your capabilities and your abilities within yourself just by negative talk and then they programmed you into negative self-talk which closed you off emotionally to the truth of who it is that you are and the truth of love um, um, I think in this relationship, um, when you first came into this relationship, you were someone who was emotionally open, emotionally expressive, very, uh, very innocent within your intentions. And I think leaving this connection, or at least how it is that you stand right now, you're very closed off, you're very guarded, you're very defensive, you're very hurt, you're very misunderstood, and you have, um, you've, you've kind of closed off a bit more to to who it was that you used to be you know what i'm saying we have the yin and yang card here so this person affected the balance it is that was in your life in every area of your life money home career yourself the the visions that you held for your future i just heard they destroyed your dreams and your hopes and they did it on purpose but your guides know that you can come out of that you know what i'm saying they destroyed your your vision of having a happy family solid foundations and they just they put in a lot of effort to sabotage joy that's the truth they made you feel like you had to wait to have what it is that you want. And they kept putting you in um, repeating cycles. It was like um, they were giving you crumbs and leading you on. Making you believe that there was more to the future that you shared with this person. Until you came to a stance where you took your rose tinted glasses off. And you accepted what, what is in this time. Because you knew that the cycle was just re-repeating. And you don't have all the time in the world. Part number three. You should be with someone who appreciates what it is that you have to, to offer and I just heard you felt humiliated and um that's what this person wanted they took they got a kick out of it almost you know what I'm saying don't get me wrong 
Spirit is saying this person did care for you. They do care for you. But they have a lot of underlying burdens and issues within themselves that they need to heal uh, first. And, and they won't. They, they can't. The way that they project this onto you is giving you reasons to worry about their commitments. Uh, their sexual orientation as well. Or where their infidelity. Uh, their loyalty. Uh, this is someone who cannot control themselves right now. Pile number three. Yeah. They don't have good self-discipline. They don't have a good sense of self-control. And they lack self-awareness as to why they do the things that they do. So I'd say when you have issues and you pull them up and you ask them why they did it, they'll be like, I don't know. And, and they'll, or they'll give you some BS excuse every time you ask them. And it's always the same answer. Or it reverts to some form of one experience of childhood trauma that they always blame. Hmm. All right. Um, taking a further look at what it is that they did to hurt my palm and threes. <sighs> mm. um, they probably isolated you from people that you looked up to or people that you knew had the best intentions for you. Uh, they probably made you doubt your other connections that you shared with people outside of you and probably even overly burdened you. Um, they made you believe that they were someone that they weren't. And that's a repeating message for all, th you know, the other two piles behind you, before you. Um, this person tried to gaslight you a lot because I can feel it and it's confusing me a lot. They tried to block your intuition pile number three. Um, and that's quite tr the truth of the matter. They, they know that you see through bullshit. And even though you're point it out and you will call it out they would always deny 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 you know and it, it left you with no choice it was almost like you were having to play a, a chess game with this person it was like a mental chess game of calculation of intention everything was so um methodical you know what i'm saying so calculated pre-planned all the time and then you you always felt like you were walking on eggshells because this person was putting far too much pressure on you far too much pressure on you because what they were doing was intentional and you had to try and stay a step ahead because you love this person so genuinely and so wholeheartedly and they kind of didn't see the true gift of that and they took advantage of it pile number three and i am so sorry this person is dumb they did the dumb choices silly Silly. They won't realize how silly of a decision they have made until later on when they, they are looking for what you were willing to give them. And then they'll regret it, part number three. But we're going to have a look at what their karma is. What is the karma for those who are on the mind of part number three for hurting them? Okay, so... How it is that this person will be affected is represented by the panther and the bee. So what this is telling me is that um, a lot of people are going to be attacking them in their life. Like calling them out on stuff. Um, and telling, calling them out on their false illusions of false strength. Like false self-empowerment. False authority that they have. It kind of takes me to the wee message of like um, they've held a certain image of themselves since childhood that is going to be like demolished abolished like completely gone forever because people are going to be highlighting just how cowardly this person has been um i also see as here that they're going to have to feel like they're standing alone like no one understands them no one's on their side they're always being misunderstood people don't understand uh, the passion that they hold or the aggression it is that they show and they're going to have to work really 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 hard on that to temper it within them or bring it to balance I think this person is going to go through a very long cycle of having to do the hard work of learning what it means to truly develop personal power and integrity I think this person is very narcissistic pile number three and I think that they have a, a few mental uh, struggles right now that they need to be seen to by medical professionals people who know what they're talking about because um, this person is a control freak they're domineering they like to be in power they like to feel in control they like to feel like they they are the the master of the domain everyone listens to them it's either their way or the highway you know what I'm saying here 
uh, their self-awareness is probably going to be affected as well. They're not going to understand why they do certain things that they do and why they do it in the ways that they do. Um, and they're also going to attract in a lot of people who do not have their best intentions at heart. So they're going to feel um, like there's no safe space because you were, you provided that for this person. And, and I don't think they really actually uh, saw or took into account how you acted or stood in as the pillar post of peace for a lot of problems that they suffered with in their life yeah you came as their healer their teacher their guide their mentor and they slept on on you they didn't appreciate you the way that they should have and now they're going to uh, they're going to regret it because their guides aligns use to to help them to with personal healing and development and they kind of went and shat on on the gift that was divine hey <sighs> Oh no, pile number three. This person is going to get what it is that they deserve. What they gave to you is what they're going to get back and it's going to happen in a different way. It's not going to come through someone else. It's going to be coming through them and their own self-treatment. That's the issue here. Oh, mm -hmm. So what you are being guided to do at this time moving forward is to follow your own good advice. You're going to find inspiration in small things like quotes online that are relatable certain songs are going to pop up that will help you to process the emotions it is that you're feeling so that you can help yourself to release and heal um your guides are also telling you that this is not a this is not punishment pile number three this is a blessing in disguise they're allowing you a fresh chance to be free of burdens and things that have held you back uh from really truly stepping into the power of who it is that you are stepping into the wisdom it is that you have and the knowledge it is that you hold um you're ready to move on to something bit bigger and better um and just know that they are protecting you as you move through this transition process of your life i feel like this is someone that you've recently separated from um and it was some it's, it's been a hard process you guys are probably still going through the transition of like detaching yourself from this person if that is the case what you're being guided to do is prioritize taking care of yourself uh for others of you this is someone who lied to you a lot you know what i'm saying they made a lot of false promises and stuff like that uh their karma is that they are going to have to work through a lot of disbelief of losing you this person hasn't accepted the fact that you have checked out of the game you're not in the game anymore and they're still kind of holding on to you if you get what i'm saying they're going to have to to develop a fresh perspective that you've had enough and that you've walked away you're putting yourself first so that you can make the best out of your life moving forward and that's what you're really truly being encouraged to do and will be supported to do by spirit this person is going to come back to you pile number three and they're going to try to hide all the issues and problems it is that they created by either lying to you covering it up or not telling you the full truth or coming back to love bomb you don't worry too much about it because your guides are going to show you who it is that you can trust make sense of things by remembering what you deserve pile number three those are the messages that i have for you today and with all that being said uh always remember that you're amazing pile number three and it's important that you prioritize yourself above poor treatment from others that you love that can't love you um those are the messages i have once again thank you so much for stopping by and i hope this has come a positive benefit somehow in some way uh, but with all that being said pile number three until next time